third reading is taken from the post-synodal exhortation, apostolic exhortation by Pope Francis, Clarida Amazonia, to the beloved Amazon region. Chapter 4, An Ecclesial Dream Inculturation of Forms of Ministry From paragraph 85 Inculturation should also be increasingly re reflected in an incarnate form of ecclesial organization and ministry. If we are to inculturate spirituality, holiness and the gospel itself, how can we not consider an inculturation of the ways we structure and carry out ecclesial ministries? The pastoral presence of the Church in the Amazon region is uneven, due in part to the vast expanse of the territory, its many remote places, its broad cultural diversity, its grave social problems, and the preference of some peoples to live in isolation. We cannot remain unconcerned. A specific and courageous response is required of the Church. Efforts need to be made to configure ministry in such a way that it is at the service of a more frequent celebration of the Eucharist, even in the remotest and most isolated communities. At Aparacida, all were asked to heed the lament of the many Amazonian communities, deprived of the Sunday Eucharist for long periods of time. There is also a need for ministers who can understand Amazonian sensibilities and cultures within, from within. The way of shaping priestly life and ministry is not monolithic. It develops distinctive traits in different parts of the world. This is why it is important to determine what is most specific to a priest, what cannot be delegated. The answer lies in the sacrament of the holy orders, which configures him to Christ, the priest. The first conclusion, then, is that the exclusive character received in holy orders qualifies the priest alone to preside at the Eucharist. That is his particular, principal and non-delegable function. There are those who think that what distinguishes the priest is power, the fact that he is the highest authority in the community. Yet. St. Paul John II explained that, although the priesthood is considered hierarchical, this function is not meant to be superior to the others, but rather is totally ordered to the holiness of Christ's members. When the priest is said to be a sign of Christ the Head, this refers principally to the fact that Christ is the source of all grace. He is the head of the Church because he has the power of pouring out grace upon all the members of the Church. Here ends our second reading.